Here's the performance difference I got after applying all these tweaks on my PC with these specs. I saw almost a 25% increase in gaming performance, making a huge difference in overall smoothness and FPS. So make sure to watch this entire video to get the best gaming performance in 2025. Before we get started, if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share your PC specs in the comments. I'll give you the best suggestions to boost your performance even further. In the first step, guys, we will disable power throttling to enhance CPU efficiency during gaming. Open Windows Search and type gpedt.msc. Click on Edit Group Policy from the search results. On the left-hand menu under Computer Configuration, double-click on Administrative Templates. Then, locate and double-click on System. Within this section, scroll down until you find Power Management under the P section. Click on Power Management, and on the right-hand side, you will see Power Throttling Settings. Double-click on this option. Inside the new window, find Turn Off Power Throttling, then double-click on it again. This will open another box where you need to select Enabled. After that, click on Apply, then OK and close the window. Now guys, we will create a performance monitor to track and boost CPU usage during gaming. Open Windows Search and type Performance. From the search results, click on Performance Monitor. On the left-hand menu, expand Data Collector Sets by double-clicking on it. Then, click on User Defined, right-click on it, and select New Data Collector Set. Name it CPU Boost and choose the option Create Manually, then click Next. On the next screen, check the Option Performance Counter, then click Next. Now, click Add, and in the window that appears, make sure Processor is selected. Below that, select the maximum available instances. For example, on my system, it shows 7, so I will select 7. Once selected, click Next, then Finish. Now, you will see CPU Boost has been added, but it will show as stopped. To start it, right-click on CPU Boost and click Start. Once done, you can close the window. Now guys, we will select a high-performance power plan for better CPU management in gaming. Open Windows search bar and type Power and click on Choose Power Plan. This will open the Power Options window. Here you will see different power plans, and your system might be set to Balanced or Power Saver. I recommend selecting High Performance instead. Next, on the right side of the selected plan, click on Change Plan Settings, Change Advanced Power Settings. This will open a new window. In this window, ensure the plan is set to High Performance. Now scroll down the list and look for PCI Express. Click on the plus icon to expand it. Then expand link state power management and make sure it is set to off. Do not choose maximum power saving or moderate power saving. Keep it turned off. Next, locate processor power management. Expand it by clicking the plus icon and check the minimum processor state. This should be set to 0%. Then check the maximum processor state and ensure it is set to 100%. If you are using a laptop, you might see an additional option for cooling policy. Make sure this is set to active. Once you have configured all the settings, click Apply, then OK and close the window. Now guys, you need to download the CPU Optimization Pack on your PC. You can get this pack from my website. The download link is available in the description. Feel free to check this pack with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus-free. Once downloaded, extract the file onto your desktop and open the CPU optimization folder. Inside this folder, you will find multiple files that need to be installed. Go ahead and install all these files one by one to ensure that your system gets the necessary optimizations. After completing this, open the CPU priority folder. Here, you will see two subfolders, AMD and Intel. Select the appropriate folder based on your processor type. If you have an Intel CPU, install the Intel file, and if you have an AMD CPU, install the AMD file. These tweaks will help optimize your system's CPU scheduling for better gaming performance. Now guys, install the Quick Boost application on your PC. This is an essential tool that provides instant CPU performance enhancements by tweaking hidden system settings. Once you launch the tool, you will see several tabs, General, Advanced, Cleanup, Downloads, and Windows. Let's begin with the General tab where you will find key tweaks that should be applied, especially after updating Windows. Some of the most useful options in this section include enabling exclusive full screen mode, which enhances gaming performance by preventing Windows from interfering with your game. You should also disable the Xbox Game Bar, 
which runs in the background and consumes CPU resources, and turn off startup telemetry, which stops unnecessary data collection. Additionally, disabling mouse acceleration ensures smoother and more precise cursor movements, which is particularly beneficial for gaming. Another important tweak here is turning off power saving mode to allow your CPU to run at full capacity. Moreover, you can disable unnecessary system services that run in the background and take up valuable CPU resources. Lastly, this tool provides an easy way to remove pre-installed bloatware and unwanted games that come with Windows, helping you free up storage and improve system efficiency. Another great feature in the General tab is the Disable Startup Programs option. This lets you manage which applications launch automatically when you start your PC. Doing this prevents unnecessary programs from running in the background, helping your PC boot up faster and run more efficiently. Next, move to the Advanced tab, where you will find deeper level optimizations that further enhance performance. One of the most important settings here is Disabling Power Forward Link, which removes a hidden power saving mode that can slow down your system during high performance tasks. Additionally, memory tweaks in this tab ensure that your RAM operates at optimal speed, helping games and applications run more smoothly. Another useful setting is adjusting the hardware data queue size, which improves the responsiveness of your mouse and keyboard. This is particularly useful for gamers who rely on quick, precise inputs during gameplay. Now, let's go to the Storage tab, which contains various cleanup options to enhance system efficiency. Here, you can clean temporary files, clear log files, run Windows Disk Cleanup, and remove other unnecessary junk files that have accumulated over time. These simple actions help free up disk space and improve system responsiveness, ensuring that your PC runs at its best. Next, the Windows tab contains additional customization settings that can further optimize your experience. Here, you can choose to show hidden folders, making it easier to access temporary files when needed. You can also disable notifications, which helps prevent unnecessary distractions while gaming or working. Additionally, turning off clipboard history ensures that no unnecessary data is stored in your system, freeing up more memory. Another useful setting here is disabling transparency effects in Windows. While this may slightly reduce visual appeal, it significantly boosts performance, especially on lower-end systems, by reducing the strain on your GPU and CPU. Once you have applied all these optimizations, it is essential to restart your PC to finalize the changes. At this point, Quick Boost has already applied all necessary tweaks so you can safely uninstall it, as there is no need to keep it running in the background. Your system is now set up for maximum performance, allowing you to enjoy smoother and more efficient gaming sessions. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. Now guys, we will configure system settings to maximize CPU usage for gaming. First, open Windows Search and type msconfig. From the search results, click on System Configuration. Once the window opens, navigate to the Boot tab from the top menu. Now, click on Advanced Options. Inside this section, you will see the Number of Processors option. Click on the checkbox to enable it. Then, from the drop-down menu, select the highest available value. For example, on my system, the maximum value is 8, so I will select 8. If your system shows 16 or 4 or any other number, select the highest option available. 
Once you have selected the maximum processor count, click OK, then click Apply, and again click OK. At this point, the system will prompt you to restart, so go and restart your PC. That's all for today, guys. Hopefully you found this guide helpful. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.